<laughs> so big or shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. It's breakfast time. Get to start with coffee. Mom, do you want to start with something? Okay. No, no, you. Don't mind if I use it. Copyright infringement. So I'll see you back in a few. Off to the Cité, let's see that again. And then we traffic. GPS says it's gonna take us an hour to get there, so yay. Usually it takes like 40, 45 minutes, I would say. But yeah, Buddha, that child right there, she has an appointment with Bonnie. Are you happy? Are you excited to see Bonnie? Mm -hmm. And I wanna see baby pictures. I don't know what she's talking about, but. I, maybe she saw baby pictures of Bonnie. Bonnie is the lady at the agency. Um, modeling agency. So hopefully Buddha does good and we get to Saturn. Wish us luck. It's the GPS that's talking. It's not on the GPS, Nana. But I don't want GPS talking. ¿Cómo vamos a llegar? ¿A dónde tenemos que ir? How are we going to get to where we have to go? The GPS has to tell us. Right, left, straight, stop. Why? Because, unfortunately, Mommy has been living in New York for my whole life. Wow. Forever 21. Can't tell you how long exactly, but mommy still doesn't know how to get around in life, so mommy uses the GPS. Okay? No. She hates the GPS. She's like, stop talking. You have to act nicely. Maybe. Si tú dices GPS, por favor cállate. El hocico. Shut your mouth. Maybe you should be quiet. I can't say that word. Oh my god. Hey, mama. Why? The GPS! Maybe I should say it nicely, mommy? No. <laughs> I was like, say it nicely. Say, GPS, por favor. Quiero escuchar la música. Is that better, mommy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, um, GPS. Quiero escuchar la música. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look how cute my baby looks. Come on. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> let's go, let's go. Rob. What floor did he say? 26 or 27? I'm gonna go with 26. Talk. We're gonna talk to Bonnie and her friends, right? Make a girl, you smile, you talk, be charismatic, be the Buddha that you know you could be. Okay? Good behavior. <laughs> I was just the last time she did that. She wasn't talking at all, so that's why they told her to come back in like five, four months or whatever it was. So let's see what happens. Yes. We're here. We're here. So like I was saying on Snapchat, like imagine waking up to this every morning. Like it's gorgeous. And they're just ugly, dirty buildings. But it's still so pretty. It's so strange that we find this stuff beautiful. Oh, the Empire State Building. <laughs> Te gusta tus fotos? Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Oh, actually, let me write your name on back behind them. So these are the pictures I'm giving to, I guess, her manager. Ah, look at my baby. Look at that smile. You guys, she didn't do good. So what they want is her personality to show instantly. They don't have five minutes. She's like at a casting and stuff like that. So when she went in, she was supposed to have that per Ziana personality that she has. And she didn't, so they want me to come back in the end. They're like, she's just not ready. But I met an agent upstairs. She was in the LA office and we were talking. I exchanged, I gave her my business card. because She was like, put her in LA, put her in um, improv classes and um, she's, I don't know, she said she was gonna text me but she was like, she is adorable oh, but it's just not her time yet maybe it's not gonna be her time, who knows but we'll be back here in another year she gave me some numbers to um, managers that would 
work on a smaller scale, so let's see. But mommy's so proud of you, okay? You gotta show that Vienna personality. Be goofy. Get crazy! Get crazy. <laughs> Hey, uh, miss, do you know you have balloons following you? Does that see in the little balloons? Did you put it around your neck on purpose? Yeah. A propósito, loquita. Go walk away, walk away. <laughs> Look at the balloons. <laughs> Amigos. So I woke up from a nap like 10 minutes ago. I was saying. It was really, it was a rough day for me once we got home um, from, the, from the city. It's just, look, when I was younger, I was very alone. I felt very alone. I didn't have anybody, you know, you know, your mom's supposed to be your best friend. Like, I didn't have that with my mom. Um, and then I didn't have a s sister, per se. Like, my sister is my half-sister. She's in Texas. We never grew up together. Brother's 10 years older than me. So I just always had that alone feeling like i didn't have anybody to talk to because you're not gonna talk to your best friends about you know how you're feeling like a sister would know exactly what you're going through because she knows she's living the same life that you are and stuff like that um so i never had that so i just felt alone i always wanted a kid always just to fill that void because i'm like you know what a baby's gonna love me and i'm gonna be happy and it's just I grew up with that mentality. Not that I wanted to have a kid at that age. I wanted one, but not, but not, if that makes sense. So, when you're gonna have a kid, if you wanna have a kid, you're 14, you're 21, you're whatever age you are. If you're not ready, if you're not ready, like don't have one. Was I necessarily ready when I had Diana? Not at all. Uh, I know I knew I wanted kids, uh, but I wasn't. I don't think I was ready. I just had had her because I'm like I wanted kids. She wasn't planned, but she wasn't not planned. If that makes sense. Um, it's just it's really rough. Like I was gonna have another meltdown, and I kind of did. I started crying a little bit. Um, if you guys remember from was it two months ago or before Chapito was born, or like two and a half months ago, I had a meltdown on the vlog, and I'm just like crying, but. It wasn't that bad, but I was crying because he wouldn't, he wasn't sleeping, he didn't, I was giving him the boob, he didn't want it, she's over here yelling and not listening, squeezing his arm, got in a fight with my mom, it was, oh, I just, I can't do it, and, this guys, if you're not ready for the lifestyle, don't do it, it, I'm happy with them, obviously, but it's just, we all have our, our moments of a breakdown, so I don't want you guys thinking like, oh my God, Betsy's so happy and she has the perfect, no, I don't have the perfect life. I'm not always happy. I'm not always cheerful and da -da -da -da. like you guys know, I have my moments that I'm a bee, you know, bumblebee. Um, and you guys all know that I'm not always happy. You know, we have our moments and it's okay to have your moments. You need to express your feelings. You can't be happy all the time. You can't try to please everybody. Uh, yeah, there's a little rinse, and now I'm cooking dinner for Boyd, so he's out with the car, having fun without me. All right, folks. So earlier today, over at my office, they dropped us off a brand new 2016 Mazda CX-3. And, oh, I would have... I would have loved to have been able to go out more today before the sun was really starting to come down and just really enjoy everything about this car right from the gate. Immediately, like, first impression. But unfortunately for me today... Right around my office, like as soon as I started getting out and everything, where I wouldn't be able to stage things, 
they actually have a Bernie Sanders uh, campaign rally, whatever it may be called, uh, right around the uh, corner from my office. So I, it was, it was such high military activity, police activity, all that. So I really couldn't do much. I wanted to stage some nice shots down by the waterfront with the skyline. But so what I did is, if you can see, that little black marker. That little black marker is actually what I'm gonna snap. I have the uh, the GoPro with me today, and I'm going to remotely operate it from my phone. I'm going to do some real quick running shots, some some driving shots through Lawn City. I'll probably do some on the way home. I'll stop off, throw the camera on. I just feel a little sketchy, like oh, I don't want anybody to see, and they rip it off, try ripping it off, and then I gotta park the car and run after them and uh, fight somebody. And I'm not really in the mood for fighting nobody. So come with me, let's drive home. Let's take this Mazda CX-5 in, of course, sport mode. I prefer a manual transmission. Unfortunately, I don't make very many manuals anymore. So I, I of course, <laughs> put my seatbelt on. And then I engage the car into the tech drive, which is your manual transmission, less the clutch. I prefer to control the power of the vehicle. That's me. It's one of my favorite selling features in all new cars. Let's go for a ride. Look at her nose. Look at your nose. What happened? I just want to know. What happened? How did you fall? How did you fall? Like, in the kitchen. You went shh. In the kitchen. In the cocina? <laughs> me and Boy Toy always... And me and Boy Toy always talking about her, her sound effects. Like, no, falling doesn't have sound effects. <laughs> She'd be like, you do this, and then we go, I'm like, what the heck is, like, what's up with these sound effects? Like, sound effects, go. Make a noise. Like that. See? Que mas? Like that. Like, ouch! That so hurt my nose! Yeah, like that, like that. Or like that. <laughs> I told you. Come on, you're over there playing around now. <gasps> no smooch. You see? Boy toy, boy toy, a boy toy's in the casa And my Buddha goodness. can't give my man a kiss a smooch smooch Cause Why? she didn't eat, 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 eat. That, no, that's not fair. No, no. no it's not Stop. That's it, not just fair. because she doesn't eat doesn't mean I can't. No, she's my playing daughter. around. You go over there, but she can't come here, run, and get oh, out, off, okay, out of the table. Okay. You're still gonna get a mooch. A mooch. You're still gonna. Oh, it's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Oh, oh, sorry. See, I'm talking. Oh, let's do some lip contact, baby. Hey. Some lip contact before we have people saying that we're dying. Hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not how we kiss. We do. Give me a kiss. And then fart on our lips. Weird. Couples have weird things. Oh, let me know in the comments below what's like a weird thing that you have with your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. I'm not your husband. I know. You're not special enough to get all of this. I mean, all this. You're special enough to get all of that. What? That's my magazine. Damn, I didn't know we were going to come in the mail. I hate getting packages when he's home. Are you going to be your owner? Because I get the... Yeah. What'd you get now? On TV. That look. This is probably what I'm paying for with the mom and Joyce. Mom and Joyce? Mom and Joyce? I'm exhausted from all that filming. How was it? How's the car? It's... It's... It's nice. 
Ah. It's like a mattress, it's the mattress CX-5, which I, you know I love the CX-5. That was the right one we had, right? Yeah, and they showed up with it. They rolled oh, up with the CX-5, and I'm like, again? He looks, he just points to the right uh. one. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, it's reminds me, you know what it is? It's, it's not an SUV. It's ah. a, uh, the, ah. the CX-3 mm -hmm. is a hatchback car. That's what it is. Ziana Ali. Uh-huh. That's so it's cool. like, it's fun, it's fun. I love riding around in sport mode, I love it. Oh my god. So wait till you see the footage, I think it's pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I only stop because my sticky thing stops sticking. Oh really? I need to go buy a GoPro now for the car. Oh, crap a moly. Crap a moly, more cha-ching. I wasn't gonna do it too, sorry. What is she doing? She's what? Dancing. Those are her push-ups. How, how does daddy do push-ups? What does she have to do? Crap! <laughs> Two, ten seconds, ten three, seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are those how Daddy does his push ups? <laughs> no. She has to do ten push ups to get an almond joy. Want this almond joy? How does Daddy, show Daddy on the floor. How, do, how does Daddy do a push up? <laughs> Remember? I think it's good. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> what the heck was that? That was a push-up. That was a weirdo. <laughs> that was like a, a rabbit push-up. A rabbit push-up? Yeah. Do a frog push-up. Let's try frog push-up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do an alligator push-up. Oh, alligator push-up. No, that's not alligator push-up. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now do a zebra push up. Ooh, zebra push up. And one more. Oh, you want that I'm enjoying, girl? You better do a zebra push up. Yeah, do one zebra push up. One zebra push up. Just one. No, no, no. Can I do it? She just stuffed it in her mouth. Oh, he's psycho. <laughs> Life is good again. Life is good. I'm enjoying. <laughs> She's like a for the almond oil. Thank you, Thomas. I don't miss the meals. We're calling it a night, and we shall see you. I'm enjoying. Maya, what are those things that we got? Beer kiss, beer kiss, bolado. Mwah. Well, that's a hair, but okay. Beer kiss. I'm enjoying. A chapito crying kiss. <laughs> um, you can't move around. That's the, the leg arm pick. Yeah. <laughs> Inside my boot.